Man, you're like starting to see like my choices when I played as a Mar, where I'm from like the of did nice arrest. ones. Two officers <laughs> will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? <laughs> Come on, just because we're prisoners doesn't mean you can't hand us weapons. I mean, like, what else are we going to use? Flipping plastic s knives? Or sporks? Oh, uh, Adam has a meat shield. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Agreed! <laughs> oh, I forgot how pretty the window was. But anyways, how long will I be here? I can't say. We have a ship have examining what's left of the Paragus facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Uh, yeah, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. This isn't good. Let's sing songs together. Station. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, why do we need to much... What do you think the TSF is going to oh, find oh, at Paragus? That could bring the sip. You know what? Here. Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. Not that we care what Kreia thinks, but we'll ask anyway. What do you think, Kreia? We cannot stay in any one place Indeed. too long, but our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Rest. Oh my gosh! Characters can sleep in this game? No, apparently we just sleep on the floor. Actually, we don't sleep, we just meditate. Um, we were meditating, and, and apparently Atten slept by a lot. Calmer than you were on Paragus when I first met you. Yeah, it looked like an Athorian. Huh? What do you mean? Uh. What do you mean? <laughs> on Paragus, you seemed, well, a little less at peace with yourself. Now you're different. It's hard to explain. Hmm. Gosh, this is like shipping material that I used. <laughs> I'm fine. It's uh, been a long time. Well, it's good to see. You're a nice counterbalance to that <laughs> witch back there. Oh, you can pass the time. Dang nabbit! Dang nabbit! Hun, that's the voice that made Atten so hot to me. Was when he <laughs> talked softly like that. <laughs> Dang, nab it! That's oh, the feels. The feels are coming back. Oh, the feels. They are. They are. Okay, Just the way, oh, like, right, I, like I said, I still love so that it's where, like, Senate you know, he'd be, like, all, like, it's good to see, and then, like, you know, like, all, like, soft and sweet. Like, your nice counterbalance to that old witch back there. Republic Senate Chris, rules? That's Republic Senate rules. I love this. That's where we waste a lot of time trading cards and trying to beat each other. But in the end, nobody wins. Everybody loses, and nobody accomplishes anything. It's like stalemate, except the goal is to pass oh, time you, until sir. the audience that's gets bored and leaves. <laughs> uh, let's play a practice match. Alright. Oh, I got like this weird random <laughs> card. I like to try to get minus. I remember I, I, also another thing that I don't think is true anymore. Actually, unless you want it to still be true, uh, Mar used to be a really good Pazak player. Hey, we can still so, do you? Oh, 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 you still want Mar to be able to have that that ability? That would still be cool. There could be some bonding moments just because they don't get together in the end. It, it's still. They still have stuff they can do. Oh, come on! I, I still love that picture you drew for me of Bach, of Bach and Mar playing Pazak together. Yes. And of course, that was back with the... Oh, that was back with the horrible oh, colors Mar, Mar originally had for her. 
that Mari originally had for her uh, Padawan robes. I hated those colors. Yes. Have you Dude, this is questions? Atten. That's true. Okay, so we can get some more light side points if I remember. I want you to teach me more about the force. Very well. What is it that drives you? I want to build a lightsaber. Indeed. A Jedi too and a Sith weapon. Lightsaber. And why do you need such a thing? So we can get light side. Because it's... By doing this. Defend so so I can get... So, no, no, so I can staff things with it. <laughs> and be all responsible. And helps me slaughter enemies quicker, faster. Okay, so uh, two light side but, yeah, I defend bend you by and my allies. The lightsaber's a symbol the Jedi inspires others, gives them hope. I like this fourth one, actually. Then listen to me. There is much weight, much craving attached to such a tiny thing of light. A lightsaber. Any weapon only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. Such a weapon does not make a Jedi or a Sith, and at times it makes them much, much less than they are. How do I oh my gosh, I just... I just remembered I haven't ordered my brother's lightsaber yet. Shoot. <laughs> Oops. The knowledge I'll talk to mom about been that. To you. <laughs> Upon our journey, luckily his birthday is fall into place. luckily his birthday is like a couple months away. Okay. <laughs> I want to get the lights out. So. Woo! You're seeing how I play this systematically. I have a system. Yes, I. Yes. You're like me, though. I love talking in between stuff, because I always wanted to see if there's more options and more ways to get more conversation. So that's <laughs> Indeed. Accept call, do not accept call. So even if you do not accept the call, they will approach you anyway when you get out of house arrest. So no matter what, you're going oh, to have to well. deal with people anyway. Even if you decide to go the introvert route and just be like, no, I don't want to talk to anybody, you have to talk to them anyway. You'll be forced to. So. <laughs> Dang, Nabbit. We are forced to be extroverts. I know. Be Dang social. Nabbit. But let's just get this over with. Excuse me, you have a caller. Rosa, <laughs> representing the Ethorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. Yes, we shall speak to him. Very well, I'll let him in now. Oh! <laughs> I'm just thinking about my... my, my I remember- I'm actually remembering your own picture. I am Mose and I've come to see on behalf of Chota Haba, our leader here. Ah, oh, you're remembering too, aren't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. So funny. Uh... Get out! What's this about? <laughs> so I go through all the effort to let him in and it's just- I'm just kicking <laughs> Just say, get the flip out of here, you weird looking alien. <laughs> so... what one did you say again? I'm sorry. Uh, what is this about? Are you familiar with the restoration project of Telos? <laughs> no, could you explain it to me? The surface of Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War a few years ago. This, Citadel Station, is part of the Republic's- Wait, I didn't get a read that. Citadel Station uses energy fields to see off portions of the planet's surface and generates controls the weather patterns. Once the weather in the zone is stabilized, new animal and plant life is introduced to restore the ecosystem. Recently, I've run to contention with the corporation known as Zerka. Perhaps you have heard of our recent troubles? Look, I've been in prison as soon as I got here, so I've not been able to hear uh, the gossip. I'm sorry. What troubles? 
Are you in? Thorians are well known as ecologists and agricultural engineers. The Trilogian government asked those on my herd to help restore their planet. Things went smoothly at first. The Republic funded us generously, hoping Talos would be a model for the restoration of plants damaged by the war. The funding enabled us to purchase flora and fauna from Andra and upgrade the Citadel Station Shield Network, have allowed us to purify and recede small portions of the surface. Then the trolls began. Republic relations on our began to deteriorate, increasing the Increase the purchase and transfer costs of our biological materials, and as the station grew, the Telos and security force was no longer large enough to police the entire station. Zerka approached the Republic and offered supply and security contracts that the military security division now police two thirds of Citadel restoration project. Zerka has integrated the Citadel police and police. They are, they are currently present to be awarded our plant restoration contracts. Their efforts hinder our cause greatly and will have terrible consequences for the plant's restoration. Whew! Man, this sounds like a terrible situation. You can see how they got in and... Uh, no kidding! Man... How... How is Zerko harming the restoration project? Zerko so rested control of a number of restoration zones on the plant service from us. These zones began to deteriorate within weeks. Man, if this continues, the restoration process will be brought to halt. Their pub will not be willing to continue. Find a need to resurrect it. Telus will remain dead forever. Well, that sucks. Oh! Man. Uh. I guess either one or two. Why would Zerka do this? I wonder that myself. Why Why does one of the largest weapons manufacturers in the galaxy want with plant restoration contracts? Perhaps they seek unrestricted access to the server which is normally forbidden. Even we can only land at our established landing sites. Uh, how did they take the restoration zones? They're a combination of legal loopholes, purchase political favors, strong arm tactics, and sabotage. We Athorians are simply not prepared to deal with such. We are passive people. We wish only to help restore the natural beauty of Telos. How could I help? Choto Habar is a powerful priest, our spiritual leader. He sent something upon your arrival, a disturbance, an echo in the force. Choto felt you might be able to aid us. He bid me tell you that if you could help heal Telos, it may be possible for him to heal you. I remember Kray gets so upset. I don't need no staking healing. <laughs> uh, heal me? I'm unclear as to what Shoto means by this. He says the echo he felt upon your rival suggests that you are so far damaged he can feel the pain through the force. Perhaps Shoda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people if they See, truly Kreia, suffer Kreia doesn't so. like that. She doesn't like that. Forgive me, I'm clear as to Shoto's message. I may have relayed it incorrectly. If this offer mutual aid interests you, please go to the Athorian compound here in Residential 082 when you are able to bot would be most pleased to see you. We shall see ya. I'll speak to him when we're freed. Oh, this gives me. Perhaps we'll speak later then. Farewell. 